In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your videos for absolutely free. One question I get from time to time from my viewers is, what do I use to make my videos on YouTube? And of course, the answer has changed over the years. I've used a lot of different tools, but the one tool that I'm presently using at the time of recording is Camtasia 2020. Camtasia sells for $331.24 Canadian. Probably a nicer number when you see it in US dollars, but that's the price. Now, I don't mind doing that because making YouTube videos is a big part of my business. So uh, it's just a business expense like any other. But, you know, if you're just getting started or if you work within the e-learning development space as I do, and you might have a budget of zero dollars or you might not get approval from your learning and development manager to spend 330 some odd dollars on video editing software. The good news is, and I've just discovered this myself, that Windows 10 actually includes a free video editing software. So to get it, all you need to do is press your start button and start typing in the word video editor, and you'll see that it's available through the best match search tool here. So I can launch this right now. Let's double click on that and get it up and running here. And so here we are, welcome to Video Editor. And uh, it's actually sort of attached to the Photos app. So it's kind of built into uh, that particular functionality. But if you select Video Editor, you can start a new project here. To begin a project, you need to give it a name. So I'm going to call this iPad Video because that's what I've got as an example project to work with here. I've got a video on my desktop I'm going to use, so I'm just going to drag it right into my project library. So it's added that video there. I can also add additional multimedia that I wish to use in this project. I'm going to add one of my little intro videos to it as well, and then I'm going to start editing this project here. I'm just going to go full screen here so I can see all the controls. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my raw video here down to what they call my storyboard. So my, my first concern with this uh, idea of a storyboard is, uh, and I think most video editing folks would agree with me, that I prefer swim lanes. So you can see layers within a timeline that you can very easily gauge how long a clip is and do editing, uh, you know, right on the timeline itself here. And this storyboard is a little abstract for me, so I'm not sure it's something I would use. Let's do a, a little bit of a playback here. Obviously, uh, when I start recording, there's usually a whole bunch of space at the beginning that, you know, ultimately will get cut. So I'm just gonna pause at some point here and we can do a split, of course. And that opens up this new window and I can play with where the split will occur. So I can go frame by frame and find that right spot just before I start speaking. So right about there looks good. I'm gonna click on done. That's gonna turn my two clip or one clip into two and I should have no problem deleting the first one and continuing to work on that as well. So the other thing I can do is a trim. That's another possibility here. And this allows you to pick a beginning and end out of your clip that you're going to keep here. So I wanna keep just the bit at the beginning where I talk a little bit about what I'm doing here. So let's find that spot that's ideal here. And let's say it's, it's just that right there. I can click done and that's going to just keep the part that I've selected here and nothing more. And if I need to rely on this clip here again, I can add more and bring it back and do some other things to it as well. There are the built-in text effects, which are kind of cool. You can add a variety of different animated text styles here. So I could type in, let's say, like a lower third. I could put my name on there and that will appear. Of course, you can see what that looks like. You can also choose different effects. This is kind of cool. I'm not sure I like the font, but 
I like the idea of it fading out or, or blurring the video behind it. There's also some interesting, more comical looking choices. Classic, again, with the, the blurred effect. And there's lots of fun stuff that you can do here as well. And of course, choose the location and what different size and style that you wish to use for your text effects there. So I can go ahead and hit cancel if I don't want to keep that. Next, of course, is there are some camera motion that you can add. So, and this would be good if you're doing a lot of jump cuts. So you can jump cut and then choose a different uh, zoom effect, zoom out to the right, zoom left, pan left, tilt up, and all that sort of good stuff. As well, there are 3D effects that you can add. So if you wanted to have, let's say, something similar like the graphics you would see in breaking news, uh, you could add this object to the upper corner and adjust the angle that it's playing at. And of course, when you add that, it's going to add some sound effects as well as the 3D effects. Of course, we can preview that there. That's kind of cool. And of course, there's a variety of different filters that you can choose from if you want to change the appearance of your video. Uh, that's all available as well. You can change the speed here. Once you're done, you can click on Finish Video. I'm not sure if 4K or higher is available. I only provided this a standard high definition video, so maybe that's why this is the maximum capable. Underneath more options, you also can take advantage of your computer's hardware accelerated encoding. If you have an improved graphics processing unit, um, you can do that to uh, export your video faster than if you didn't have um, you know, a dedicated GPU for such things. So once you're done, you can press export and out comes your video. So overall, I think it's a great solution if you're looking for an affordable solution, because obviously free is very affordable. Um, I don't think it's going to cause me to stop using Camtasia. Camtasia is a very powerful tool and it gives me a lot of capabilities that are just not in this particular application. But it's good to know that this exists for those that are looking for a very cost effective video editing solution. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.